Hey everybody, day 42 of the vlog, um, and a colleague made a great suggestion that since it is game seven of the World Series today, and this is also the 42nd vlog, that I uh, should talk about Jackie Robinson. So uh, I will. I'll talk a little bit about um, Jackie Robinson and uh, African Americans playing baseball. So Jackie Robinson does get credit a lot of the times for being the first black player in the Major League Baseball or in professional baseball. Um, but he actually wasn't. You have to get, dig deep, uh, and it's really only recently that people have started to um, realize uh, like these players that played back in the 1800s. Um, so the, officially the first um, professional baseball player uh, is Moses Fleetwood Walker. So Moses Fleetwood Walker uh, played for one year in, I believe it was 1899. Um, and then kind of because there was such a large gap, his I think his younger brother actually also played um, the, on the same team on the same year. And then there was a third uh, black player that played um, in a couple years after that. And people are just now realizing that he was black, like nobody knew um, there had to be some additional research because people knew his name, but they didn't realize that he was black. Um, so there are actually th at least three um, black professional baseball players before Jackie Robinson. But it was all the way back in the 1800s. So 63 years, basically, before Jackie Robinson uh, de or desegregated uh, professional baseball, um, you had these players, and I and I think uh, you know that speaks to the erasure of Black history in our country. I think it speaks to um, the fact that there was such a large gap that those three players were unable to build a legacy like Jackie Robinson did. Because when Jackie Robinson desegregated baseball, it opened the floodgates um, to people finally starting to acknowledge that that it was okay to have integrated baseball and that. Um, you know, these athletes were just as talented, if not more talented, um, and should be, have an opportunity to play and to make money off of that like everybody else was able to. So I, I think, you know, Jackie Robinson well deserved um, to get the recognition that he does to have every single team have retired the number 42 is a small token to be able to be grateful for what he experienced. But these also, the, these other three men that were in it had the same level of discrimination. Um, I was reading about uh, Moses and he had to sleep on benches and when he would play games in the South because no hotel would rent room uh, to a black person. Uh, and so he would have to sleep on a park bench before a game. Uh, Jackie Robinson, you know, famously had to deal with a lot of discrimination outright, um, most recently portrayed in the 42 movie, uh, where, you know, he had to wear thicker padding in his helmet uh, because of how many pitchers intentionally would throw the ball at his head. He had to consistently be extra careful about how he responded to racial epithets and harassment and all that was thrown out there because anything that he did would be reflective of all black people in the eyes of, of you know, the of racist whites that were living at the time. And I think about the courage and the bravery that it took to be able to endure that, right? Um, and th this is something that I think we need to understand today, too, and relates to my video from yesterday talking about people that are upset when, when um, black citizens call for violence against police, is that how much suffering would you be willing to endure before you retaliated? Now, once again, I feel like I have to preface because there's always going to be people that try to make it sound like I'm promoting violence. I believe in nonviolence as, as the right method to uh, move forward and to get better as a society. But I also am a realist, and I understand that it wouldn't take much for me to abandon nonviolence if my children were facing the type of things that Jackie Robinson uh, was facing or that other people that have had to fight for their rights were. Um, and so tr try to try to empathize with that, try to understand like how, how much how much would you be berated? Um, how much could you take of that before you would want to strike back or would strike back? Um, because it's not until it really starts impacting you that you, you see the level of injustice it is to have to endure dehumanizing attacks and yet still remain peaceful and a model of 
upstanding behavior. Um, it's just, it's not right, and you can't ask people to continue to do that forever. Um, justice too long denied, or too long delayed is justice denied, and I'm grateful for people like Jackie Robinson that was able to endure the injustice um, to fight for equal rights and, and equal standing in our society. So enjoy the World Series if that's what you're watching, um, and reflect on the current and historical discrimination that has been present in professional sports. Talk to you tomorrow.